Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another video. Now this one I'll be showing you off a cool custom uh, boot screen that I made or boot splash for the PS Vita and I'll be showing you how to make your own uh, boot splashes as well. So let me show you how it looks like if we restart. As you can see, it's like a cool matrix kind of yolk. And then the PS Vita, like text comes in very nicely. And then it like glitches out. <laughs> so yeah, it's pretty sick. And then here's a quote from the matrix as well. And we're back in. So to pull this off, you're going to need a plugin and obviously a Vita with Enzo. So for the plugin, you want to install Custom Boot Splash Manager. You can either download that from the Vita Homebrew browser, or you can just download it from the PC and then install it with a Vita Shell. All right, so on the PC here. This is the plugin here. CBS Manager. So you can download it here. So just click on the releases. I actually just make this a little bit bigger. Just click on the releases here. And then just download the VPK, transfer it to your Vita over FTP or the USB. Install it nicely and then run the bubble so when it installs it it'll create this bubble here so you just need to click on the bubble and it'll create all the necessary files and stuff like that and after that what you want to do is head over to the usage bit and here we will create our own animation basically so click on this link it'll bring you over to this tool here and just so you know that i couldn't get this thing working with windows so you might you'll have to use like a linux vm or something so in my case i am using my uh, network storage server <laughs> for this so First thing you want to do is you want to create a PNG or a JPG sequence. So as you can see here, there's like a bunch of files. I'll actually show you a little bit better. So this is how the uh, boot looks like when it's rendered in a video. I just make that a little bit smaller. Yeah, there we go. So this is just looping here, but this is how it looks like on the PS Vita. You saw that looked a little bit more glitchy, which kind of adds to it, you know, <laughs> I think that's cool. So anyway, to get this into like a bunch of images. So as you can see here, we have like out zero and then out one, out two, out three, and all the way over to like out 111. If you, now I made my effect on after effects so if you have after effects you could just drag in your footage here uh, don't worry about all this and then select your main like composition and what you want to do is make sure the time is around four seconds here I have like a bit longer than four seconds but just because the boot kind of lasts around four seconds ish so if your animation is longer than four seconds, it'll just stop and you'll boot into the system without like watching the rest of the animation or whatever. And um, so anyway, once you click on your main composition here, what you're gonna do is go into composition and add to render queue. This will open a new window down here. And what you wanna do is click at the very bottom here where it says output module click on that and for the format what you want to do is put in jpeg 
sequence. And if you want, you can resize them here, but the program that we'll use to create this uh, animation uh, resizes the images by itself. So we don't need to use that. Uh, click OK here. And then I'll put two. Click on this as well. And what you'll do is click on save in subfolder and you want to create a fold subfolder so like out tree or whatever and then rename this make sure you have something so let's say out underscore and then bracket and this hashtag this hashtag basically means the number of the frame and then save as dot jpg then once you got both of these all right just click on render and it'll render it away and you'll get a new file here. Now I'm gonna I'm not gonna do that because it takes a while. So it'll create something like this. So then what you wanna do is you wanna download the source code, or if you wanna do you can do a git clone. It doesn't really matter. Once you download it, you'll have a folder here. You'll have a folder like this, you'll have a Linux and the Windows. Now because I can get the Windows ones working, uh, I'll just use Linux for the video. So what you want to do is get into get onto your Linux, so here I am. And let me just cd into that directory and cd into Linux. Now here we have a make file and a main.c so for this to work you would actually need to download image magic and gzip so to do that just type in apt install gzip and then image magic all lowercase and then tack y and then press enter already did that and after you do that you will need to also make sure you have gcc so just run gcc and if you see something like this that means you have it if you don't you can install it and then you just click on make and it'll be very quick uh, don't worry about this warning or whatever it doesn't matter because right now we have a cb anim program here so what you can do is you can move this program into here or wherever you want and make sure all of your images are in the same uh, folder as your CNM program so for example if I just create a new folder here um, just create a folder here and I'll copy all of the images and I'll copy uh, C admins well and put into boot there we go so just have a folder looking like this all right and then on your uh, Linux box just oh yeah by the way if you guys are wondering why I can access this on both my Linux box and my Windows PC uh, this because it's actually a network uh, device so the drive is actually connected on like physically to this, but then I'm accessing, I'm accessing it through uh, Windows as well. So that's why it's kind of handy. <laughs> All right, so when you're here, you want to go back a few times and then just find the folder. Uh, so I think I went a little bit too far. <laughs> All right, so let me go into boot. Yeah, and there we go. So next for the command, you can run, it tells you the commands here. Info file, if you actually just run C admin or C B admin, <laughs> it'll tell you like kind of uh, basic commands you can use here, which is pretty cool. So what I'm gonna do is actually run this command here because this is the one that worked for me. Um, so this will be the command and make sure so I'll just copy this 
So type in the name and then for the minus SP, that means that we're using a, a PNG, JPG, or basically any kind of image that's not a GIF. And then S means scale. Uh, where is it? Yeah, so it'll resize to the PSP or PS Vita resolution. And then out underscore percentage D is basically the names. So as you can see, it's out underscore and then the number is 65. So replace like 65, 78 with percentage D and then dot JPG because that's the file extension we're using. If you're using dot PNG, you can use dot PNG. Uh, with dot PNG, I tried it. The animation like it worked, but it was a little bit glitchy. So that's why I recommend using JPG. And then no loop just means your animation will loop once. Uh, if you want your animation to loop, for example, if you only have like one second animation or whatever, you can do that. You can like remove this basically. So once you hit enter, it's gonna take a while. It's gonna convert every single image into the appropriate format. So you can see it here, like creating different files and stuff. And then using gzip to compress them. Now once the program is finished, all these um, files are created will be deleted automatically. So you don't have to like worry about random files. <laughs> all right, so as you can see here, it says done. And it created a boot animation dot image like here and so you want to copy this image if you go into the github you want to copy it into user zero tie and then boot animation that png so just plug in your psp and then copy this boot animation to wherever So in my example, I copied it and then launch Vita shell. So in Vita shell, press select, make sure you're in USB or FTP and then just press start and then USB device will be connected and it'll show up on your PC and stuff. All right. So once you're here, I copied my one into UR or UX zero into custom boot screen. So there it is. So press triangle, press copy, then go back, back into UR zero, go into tie, then press triangle, press X to paste. And since this is like 32 megabytes, <laughs> um, it'll take a while. All right, there we go. Boot animation there. Then exit this and uh, go into your settings. And then what you want to do is go into themes and background. And for boot screen, this will be a new option after installing the boot screen manager, uh, select the animation. So you can use static image, animation, you can use console image, which is pretty cool, but animation is like my favorite. And then you just wanna simply reboot your console and you will see the new animation applied. There you go. So yeah, that's uh, that's about it there. <laughs> that's how it's done. It's not too bad. The only kind of 
a uh, hard thing about this is uh, getting the tool to work so <laughs> I don't know if you guys can figure out how to get this in it, how to get the Windows one working so I can like make it as well so for example if I go into the um, oops if I go into Windows and you can make it as well but for some reason like it doesn't run properly so when I try to open it on Windows it just doesn't work so I guess uh, Linux version it is <laughs> so yeah uh, that's it uh, thanks for watching and bye bye